Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Topic is about storage classes in C. What is storage classes? Storage classes tells from what part of a code we can access a variable. The storage class is used to describe the four things. Mainly we have a three points to remember while we are discussing about a storage classes. What is the lifetime of the variable? What is the scope of the variable? Where the variable has been stored? This is the important points of a storage classes. Types of storage classes. We have four types of storage classes: auto storage classes, register storage classes, static storage classes, and extend storage classes. Auto storage classes. This is the syntax of auto storage classes with auto keyword, data type, and variable. Auto storage auto variables are limited within, within the particular block only once the control goes out of the block the access is destroyed it means when we have declared a variable between the scope if you have a auto int a equal to 7 between the scope while you are coming out of the scope you will be destroying the variable it means we are deleting the memory allocated for the variable in the ram it means a stack auto variables are the local variables Default if you don't have a auto keyword, if you have a only data type int and variable a, default it will be a auto auto variable. Example program of a auto storage class. Here I have a, uh, written a program with int main auto with the auto keyword int a equal to one. And open the scope here. Between this scope, this and this scope, I am declaring one more variable a here and assigning a variable variable uh, value two. With auto keyword and printing this variable here. While we are coming out of the scope, the variable a will be deleted. And after coming out of the scope, we are printing variable a here. It means it first it will be printing as a 2 here. And after coming out of the scope, this scope will be deleting the will be destroying this variable. And again, we are printing a. Since we this auto int a equal to 1 is between this scope and this scope, it will print as a 1 here. That is the main use of a auto storage class. Register storage class. This is the syntax of a register storage class, register data type and variable. Register storage class and auto storage class are similar. But the only difference between these are in the register storage class, the variable will be stored in a CPU registers. In the auto storage class, the variable will be stored in a RAM. That is the main difference. What is the use of storing a variable in a CPU register? If you want to access very quick, it means very fast will be storing a variable in the CPU register. Accessing will be very fast when compared to the RAM. That is the main usage of a register storage class when compared to the auto. It doesn't matter that every time the CPU, uh, the register variables has to be stored in a CPU register. Sometimes it might be stored in other storage classes also, but it depends on hardware implementation. It will be storing always in the CPU register, but in certain situations, in the race scenarios, it will be storing in other storage classes. Depends upon hardware implementation. This is the example program of a register storage classes. I have written a program with int main on open braces. I'm using a register keyword here with the int data type and a variable a is assigned with 10 here. Here, by compiler by seeing this keyword register, it will push the data variable into a CPU register. While accessing the variable a, it will be very fast when compared to the others it means since we have a register keyword here if you are trying to access the variable a it will be very quick and fast when compared to the auto storage classes or in auto storage classes it accessing will be very late it means it will be very quick in auto it will be somewhat late static storage class this is the one of the most important storage classes all of four types this is a syntax of a static storage class static data type and variable Static storage class instructs the compiler to keep a local variable in existence during the lifetime of the program instead of creating and destroying it each time. It means when it comes to the auto and register, we will destroy the variable while you are coming out of the scope. When it comes to the static, we won't destroy the variable even though we are coming out of the scope. It remains until the program ends. That is the main use of a static storage classes. Static can be used as a global variable as well as a local variables. Yeah, here is the example of a static 
with global variables and local variables. Here I have written a code like I am declaring an int a with a static keyword and assigning one value. This is a global variable in the same file. And int main and open brace in between this scope, this and this scope, I am declaring a local static variable. Since it is a local static variable, it will print as a 2. Even though we have a global variable a equal to a equal to 1, it won't print 1 here. Since we have a locally defined static variable here, it will consider a as a 2 here and it will print 2. Since it is static local variable is between this scope and this scope. Again, it will print as a 1. The output would be first it will be printing 2 and after coming out of this scope, it will print as a 1 here. Since globally static variable declared as a defined as a one here that is the main use of a static local variable and static global variables extend storage classes this is the syntax of extend storage class extend with data type and variable variable defined using extend keywords are called as a global variables the main use of a extend storage classes is per suppose if we have a int data type with variable a equal to 7 in main.cc file. In other file, in second file, I'm trying to access this A variable. What we have to do? By using a extend keyword, extend int A, we can access the variable even though it is another file. That is the main use of a extend storage classes. Multiple declarations are allowed, but multiple definitions are not allowed. Extend storage classes accepts a multiple declaration, but not multiple definition. Example program of extend storage classes. You have glo globally defined a equal to 7 in the single file and into main and open open braces. And here I'm using an extend keyword with int a. I'm printing variable a here. See, compiler will check for the keywords here. If it founds extend keyword here, it will first check out of this scope. It will go out, the compiler will go out of this scope by seeing the extend keyword and it will go out of the scope and will find the definition of A where it has happened. Here, when well, the compiler will see the uh, extend keyword, it will go out of the scope in the same particular file and will check where the definition of A has happened. Here the definition of a is equal to 7 has happened here in the same file then it will print as a 7 but suppose the definition of a was not happened in the same file it will check for the other files where the definition of a has happened if the particular files were included in this same file this, this is the same thing which i have written here extend tells the compiler to check for the definition of the variable out of the scope if not present in the out of the scope, it will check for the other files. That is the main use of an extend storage class. Other example program for extend storage classes, we have two files, main file.cc and globally defined in da equal to 7 here. And the second file.cc, I have extend keyword in ta. It means I am trying to access the variable which was defined in the main file.cc. Was a was defined here in main file.cc. I am trying to access in the second file.cc here. By using a extend keyword. By using extend keyword, the compiler will check for in the particular file where the definition of A has happened as I told earlier. If it is here in the second file dot there is no definition of A here and it will check for the header files. In this second file dot you see we will be including the header file of main file. By checking the header file of main file, it will enter into the main file dot cc and it will found the definition of A and it will be printing here. That is the main use of a extend storage classes. Multiple declaration of extend. This is same pseudo code for the previous program. Yes, I am using a main file dot cc second file and trying to mul declare multiply the extend variable extend int and extend. It won't cause any error. It will it will execute perfectly without any compilation error here. Multiple declarations are allowed. Scope and lifetime of a variables. This table tells of the where the variable will be stored. What is the default value? What is the scope of the variable and what is the lifetime of the variable? As we discussed earlier, auto and register are same in all perspectives. Only the difference is auto variable will be stored in the RAM 
and register variables will be stored in the CPU registers. X10, it will be storing in the memory in the RAM, same RAM. The scope, what is the scope of a R1 register? It will be within the block, lifetime also within the block. X10 scope, enter the file and other files where the variable is declared as X10. It means, as I, we discussed earlier, state uh, lifetime will be the scope will be in the same file as well as in other files also lifetime will be the program run until the program ends we have static here static we have two types local static variable and global static variable where local static and global static having a default value is zero local static will be a within the block and the global static will be a global lifetime in the program run time this is the this is about storage default initial value scope and lifetime of the all storage classes interview question these are the few major interview questions which see here uh, suppose the interviewer asks questions like what is the use of a storage classes we have the three points to tell about the storage classes that is storage classes are used for telling the lifetime of the variable and what is the scope of the variable and where the variable is stored what types of a storage class we have a four types here as we discussed earlier difference between the global static and local static here global static you have a global static it means we have a this if we have a global static variable it means this variable has to be used in the same file only we cannot access the variable in other files local static variable means first suppose we have a global static variable as well as a local static variable in the scope it will when we coming out of the scope the static variable will be destroyed even if it is a, even if it is a static variable if both auto and registers are local variables what's the use of using a both instead of any one the interview might ask question like already we have a auto register auto storage classes what's the use of implementing a register storage classes the main difference is auto the variables will be stored in the ram in the register the variables will be stored in the cpu register it means accessing of a variable will be very easy and fast in the cpu register it means register variables when compared to the auto what happens when we declare a extend variable multiple times doesn't cause any comparison it will execute it perfectly we cannot define extend multiple times and we have one more question like what is the difference between a global static variable and as well as a normal global variable if we have a global static variable it means we can use only the same file if we have a glo normal global variable it means we can access this variable in other files also I think we are very clear about the story classes theoretically and we'll check in the code wise. We'll write a code for auto storage class for essentially with auto int a equal to 9 and I'm open this and again I am declaring int a equal to 8 here. I'm trying to print this variable here with a This time copying C. Here I have mentioned auto keyword in front of the int data type, and also here also I am mentioning a auto keyword in front of the int data type. We'll execute and we'll check what will be the output. Output will be the 8 and 9 here. See, the output is 8 and 9 here. Since we have a auto keyword in front of the int data type, it means while we are coming out of the scope, the variable will be destroyed. See. In this between this scope and this scope, we have a auto int a equal to 8 and I'm printing 8 value here. While you're coming out of this scope, the variable will be destroyed. It means the memory allocated for this variable in the stack or, or else in the RAM it will be destroyed, it will be deleted. And after coming out of the scope, again I'm printing a. It means 
between this scope and this scope we have one more auto int equal to 9 it will print as a 9 here now suppose what would be the result if you don't have a auto keyboard result would be the same here if you don't have any keyword before the data type you will be considered as default as auto storage classes auto variables output is same here 8 and 9 here and what about the register storage classes we are clear about auto storage classes as of now and register you will use a register keyword here the output remains same the thing is now this int a equal to 9 is the auto storage so no, no need to write of auto here between the it is a auto storage and i am here in the in, in the scope i am giving a register as a keyword before the int the output with this remain the same but the thing is this int a will be storing in a cpu register instead of a ram that is the main use of a register keyword see the output here is 8 and 9 and what about the static globally i am declaring a static int a equal to 9 plus of force i am deleting for easy understanding i am deleting this line also just just execute and check this program just i have globally a static variable is there and just execute and check the program see the output will be the 9 and 9 here since the variable is a global and it is a static it remains until the program ends what if if we have a local static variable static in da equal to 8 see in this scope in this scope we have a local variable here one more variable here usually if you don't have a this local static variable the output will be a 9 and 9 what if if you have a local static variable it will consider this local static and it print as a variable a here see we'll execute and we'll check the program output is 8 and 9 see it, when you are coming out of the scope this local static also will be destroyed and here we since we have a global a variable and we are printing a 9 here that is the difference between a global static variable and a local static variable if the global variable having a keyword static it means we can use this variable a only in this particular file we cannot access this variable out of this file if you don't have a static keyword we have only global int a equal to 9 we can access this variable in other files by using a extend keyword that is the difference between a normal global variable and a static global variable and what about extern i suppose we have a main file let cc in this file i am defining a variable 9 and you have a second file i'm doing this variables see this is an online compiler so i am not taking a two files separately here so i am giving a pseudo code of two files in main file.cc i am defining int a equal to 9 and the second file.cc it means second file in the field i am using a extern int a it means i am trying to access the variable a from main file.cc by compiler will check for this extern keyword and you will find the definition of variable a in the particular second file.cc if it is not found in second file.cc it will go to the other files how it will go to the other files by seeing the header files included in the second file.cc we will be including a header file of main file dot dot h and we'll, by seeing this header right, it will go to the main file dot cc and it will found the definition of a and it will print here that is the main use of a extern here i think we have covered all the storage classes types as well as programmatically and uh, theoretically hope you guys are clear about this topic uh, by from this video 
you really like this video please subscribe to my, my channel thank you all